Well, good evening. I'm out here with the little goats again. Had visitors this afternoon. Everybody had to come and see. Everybody got to pet Mr. Raj. He was the most social. Everybody else was afraid. Mr. Raj was too, but I picked. I went and got him and picked him up and carried him out. Sam brought his kids, his boys, uh, William and, and Bob, and his little girl, Poppy. I think they said they're eight, six, and, and two. Poppy was pretty interested in just exploring and looking at stuff. Bob was busy checking things out and wanted to talk to the goats. William was busy telling me all about things that he knows about goats. Yeah, it's pretty cute. And it was pretty nice seeing them. I only seen I've only seen pictures of them before that. So that was pretty pretty awesome. Uh, if you're ever interested in remodeling projects, you can get a hold of Sam. He has a business that's called uh, Threshold Restoration in Winona, Minnesota. Uh, kind of just works out of his truck, but he's done really good work for me, and he's been good with my animals. And I'll tell you what, that counts a lot more with me than anybody who uh, doesn't uh, take the time to appreciate him and talk to him. And these little guys love to have someone talk to them. <laughs> right, Raj? You love to have someone talk to you, don't you? So I've been having a little bit of a computer problem in the house. So I may not have the best. Well, I probably will have about the same level of quality of videos that I've had, but <clears throat> that was not the problem. <laughs> that was my voice just getting off kind of freaky. I got some treats for them, but they don't like them. The peppermint nuggets. <sighs> Molly was the only one who really liked them. Everybody else thought they were uh, scary. There's nothing like uh, watching uh, little goats turn their nose up at things that they don't like. And I don't think that they, they didn't even give them a try. That's the worst way. Usually if they see somebody eat it, then they'll, everyone else will want it too. But that didn't happen. I put a few in each one of their feeders, thinking that maybe they would clean them up. But I saw that there were a few of them still left. So either they didn't try them or they didn't even look for them. Kind of hard to tell. You 
<laughs> I love the little piece of hay in his mouth. As he's chewing it. Chewing, chewing, chewing. He's a sweet little man. So, my dogs knocked my laptop on the ground and the power adapter kind of flexed and now it's not taking a charge and I'm not sure if it's the the plug on the power adapter or the plug in the laptop. Um, I'm going to try a, a different uh, charger and see if it makes any difference. Hopefully it, it's not the socket or some other kind of damage in the laptop. But if it is, it's not worth getting fixed. That's the worst of it. The cost of uh, the cost of getting it repaired is so much more than uh, than just getting a new one or a different one. And to be honest with you, I probably would look for one where I could get better quality editing software on it. My laptop is a Chromebook, and there's really nothing wrong with Chromebook. I really like. I don't have to worry about getting viruses, and it's really high, it's highly secured, and uh, at least from that point standpoint. But uh, I just got to come up with something better as far as uh, protecting it. Maybe what I should try is a magnetic uh, power adapter. Maybe they do make them for that that you can just put up a, a uh, USB-C uh, connector on it and it just charges that way. Now it's all I need. It's not like I use it as a data cable or it's connecting into a network via that cable. But still not a big deal. It still works. It's still got 90 some percent charge or about 90 percent charge on it. But I wanted to also say thank you to everyone for watching. And thanks for uh, subscribing and uh, sharing with your friends. I, I like the, if you like the video, click the like button. Uh, I love the comments when you guys comment. I try to reply or at least respond somehow to every comment. And uh, if there's something you want me to to show off or answer questions about it. I can do my best to answer all your questions and respond. So again, I'm thanking you all for watching and uh, I will see you tomorrow.